Hey friends, how's it going? So in the previous video, we talked about why you shouldn't become a data scientist. And I thought it was a really important beep beep. And I thought it was a really important subject to talk about because data science is such a hyped up field. But in this video, we're gonna talk about why being a data scientist is awesome. And don't worry, I'm not just gonna go take the video about why you shouldn't become a data scientist and flip it around. These are fresh, real reasons for why data science is awesome. Let's get to it. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is like the elephant in the room is the most obvious thing, but I can't not talk about it. It's the fact that you get paid a lot of money to be a data scientist and you get a lot of perks, especially in tech. What inspired you to become a data scientist? Money. So I'm gonna give you guys some numbers and these numbers are gonna be referring to entry-level data scientists and we're gonna talk about California because that is currently where I am right now. And I'm also gonna make a comparison between software engineering and data science because these are the careers that are kind of similar to each other and then people generally have a better sense of software engineering and you can use that to gauge the data science side. So entry-level data scientist in California earns on average 130K a year. And in comparison, a entry-level Software engineer makes $122,000 a year. This obviously varies hugely in terms of area, especially in Silicon Valley in the Bay Area where I am right now. So these numbers may seem really, really high, but you really need to factor in the cost of living. And as you progress more in your career as both a data scientist and a software engineer, they're still pretty comparable in numbers. There are some companies, some locations where one is higher than the other. There's also places where they're the same. And there's also places where one is lower uh, than the other. If a data scientist is being paid more than a software engineer, the reason is usually because they have some very desired skill sets, such as machine learning, um, they might be research scientists or they have some data engineering skills. So I can't say this for all companies and not even like all industries or anything like that, but in tech, beep, beep, beep. In many companies in tech, which is my industry, um, software engineers and data scientists also have very comparable perks and stock options. If you'd like to learn more about the differences between data science and software engineering and how I myself chose between software engineering and data science, you can check out this video over here. Second reason why being a data scientist is awesome is the freedom to explore. The role of a data scientist is very discovery oriented, which makes you feel like an explorer, like Dora the Explorer. You're basically the person in the team who's always thinking ahead, thinking about what opportunities there are to pursue. Uncovering non-obvious insights that can improve your product, your business, or your model. You're also always thinking of ways to change or optimize the way that things work questioning if it is really the best way to do it, or if there's actually better ways of doing things. You also think a lot about modeling and forecasting. I personally find it really exciting because I'm like an explorer, exploring the unknown, except I don't have to leave the comfort of my house or the office if I were, you know, not working from home. I always get this feeling like, um, I'm not sure how to explain it. It's almost like a tingle of excitement when I'm about to run like the last line of code in which it could potentially like reveal a nugget of insight or something really interesting that I didn't know about before. For example, finding out that two really unrelated variables are actually extremely correlated with each other or figuring out a way in which a small, small change can have a huge disproportionate amount of impact. Third reason why being a data scientist is so awesome is the fact that it's so applicable to pretty much every single field. Are you indecisive and can't figure out what you want to be when you grow up, even though you might be already grown up? Then data science might be the right field for you. The skill sets of a data scientist is pretty much applicable wherever there is data. And we kind of are in the information age, which means that there is data everywhere. Say you're interested in finance. You could be a data scientist at a fintech company. You can be a data scientist at a hedge fund. You could also be a data scientist at a bank. If you're interested in biology, you can be working in bioinformatics. You can be working in computational biology. You can be working in biotech. You could be working in genomics. Or if you're interested in general technology and internet-based companies with lots of products and services like social media, food delivery, or maybe even dating apps. You can easily work in any of those as well. There's transportation, there's e-commerce, there's music. Just pretty much the world is your oyster. Of course, the disclaimer here is that if you're gonna jump around from product to product, service to service are very, very different from each other, then you definitely will have some ramp up time where you have to kind of understand what it is that you're working on. But the data science skill set itself is extremely applicable to all of these different industries and all of these different types of companies. Fourth reason why being a data scientist is so awesome is the fact that you will never get bored. You might get overwhelmed. 
but you will not get bored. So if you're someone that gets bored easily and you don't like doing things that you already know how to do, then data science could be an awesome job for you. So, so there's two specific things I want to touch on about why data science is very conducive to people who are bored very easily. The first one is that there's new technology that's being developed constantly, like all the time. Every single week, there's something new that's going to be coming out. I also listed this as a negative point because it means that you have to constantly be upskilling yourself and learning new things. But if you're someone that really loves learning new things, then this is a huge plus. Also, because data science is such an interdisciplinary field that's very about exploring new things. Generally, the company that you work at doesn't really care how it is that you do something or what tools it is that you're using, as long as you're able to accomplish a task or solve the problem. In fact, if you can learn something that can save the company more money and you can do things more efficiently and you can do them better, then that's even better. So as a data scientist, you get to explore and use these new tools that are coming out, or you can actually develop your own tools as well if that's what you're interested in doing. And that's able to allow you to become a better data scientist, do better analysis and find out better things and do better forecasting. My word of caution though, is that it is sometimes really easy to fall down a rabbit hole and just dig deeper and deeper and do more and more complex analyses and use more and more complex tools. Another core mantra of what I believe a data scientist should always hold at heart is Occam's razor. Entities should not be multiplied beyond necessity. Second reason why it's kind of hard to get bored as a data scientist is the fact that there isn't a lot of boilerplate code. And each analysis usually has this very unique component to it. This is especially in comparison to a software engineer where there's a lot more boilerplate code. So yes, you definitely still have some boilerplate code like ETL, cleaning, basic segmentations, and correlations between variables. Generally, once you grab onto something interesting and start digging into it, like I said earlier, it's like that excited, tingly feeling that you get because you don't know what the end result is going to look like. Stop freaking excited! <laughs> The fifth reason why I think being a data scientist is so awesome is the fact that you often get to specialize and define your own niche. Data science is a very new field, especially compared to fields like software engineering. In software engineering, there's a lot of specializations that have already been predetermined, like front-end engineer, back-end engineer, full-stack engineer, iOS, cloud, infra. In data science, they're starting to have these more clearly defined paths as well, but it's still in a very, very early stage. So oftentimes people get to decide what it is that they want to focus on and kind of define their own archetype for what kind of data scientist they want to be. I'll give you some examples of specialties that I've seen. The first type of data scientist is what I call like product specialized. It's all about making that product better, improving that product. So they're all about finding opportunities, uncovering insights, just doing whatever analysis there is in order to improve a product. The second specialization I often see is a more technical data scientist. And they're ones that tend to overlap more with data engineers or building tools like platform tools for data scientists and data engineers. Third specialization is machine learning focused, which is the specialization that gets a lot of hype. Oftentimes, people who specialize in machine learning can also be known as machine learning engineers. Next, there's people who are more research focused. And generally, these are people who have PhDs or are like really interested in math and statistics. And the final archetype is a jack of all trades who will double as a data engineer, uh, double as a product manager, double as a business person and, and a software engineer and just kind of like everything. And whatever it is that you throw at them, they're able to figure out, learn and do. All right, last one. I know that the lighting has gotten darker and darker and darker. <laughs> And I don't actually have my additional light to put in the front, but we're almost there. So I apologize that my face is becoming really scary and creepy while I'm looking at you. Okay, before I waste more time. The sixth reason why being a data scientist is awesome is that you, it's very easy for you to transfer to adjacent fields and not just as a manager, I mean. So if you're extra indecisive and not only do you not know what industry you wanna work for and you don't even know if you wanna stay a data scientist, then unintuitively being a data scientist may be a good career for you. I'll give you some examples and these are examples that I have actually seen personally. So there may be more that I have not seen as well. Um, but data scientists who become data analysts, very common. Data scientists who become product Product managers, I think even more common, data scientists who go into marketing and also data scientists who go into consulting and strategy. Then on the more technical side. So the caveat to these transitions though, are the fact that you come from a technical background like computer science, or you're willing to put in the extra work if you don't come from a technical background. Um, and these are transitions from data scientist to machine learning engineer, extremely common, data scientist to software engineer, and data scientist to data engineer. And that's it. Those are my reasons as to why being a data scientist is so awesome. And you can barely see my face at this point, but I hope this video was useful and was helpful for you. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream.